Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today's very long awaited video. It is about time I deal with this. <laughs> so today I'm going to be just like swatching, organizing, decluttering, and I wanted to take you guys along with me. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. I don't really know where to begin with this, but I guess we just got to start and then we'll see how it goes. I have this little cute pouch from Revlon that I'm going to put the colors in that I don't use on a regular basis and the products that I just, I don't know, I just, I want to keep, but I don't want to just have out in my like everyday lip product bin. I'm just going to search through this first, I think, and just pick out those products that I was talking about and put them in here and then we will go from there. So these Tower 28 glosses clearly are gorgeous shades, but I feel like these brighter ones I just only use in the summertime. So I'm just gonna put these away with the other lip products for now and then just keep these out. Also, I don't really use this one all that much in Oat. So I'm just gonna keep these for now and then the one that's in my um, October makeup bin. So I got it down to this, which is pretty good. So now I'm gonna go and pick out all of the lip balms because I don't want lip balms to be in here. I don't know why they're in here. Also, this is literally an empty, so lip balm, lip balm, which is probably expired at this point. This is the Billy. I totally forget, but it's their like red lip balm and this is like a few years old now and I feel like it's it's just starting to smell a little funky. This is like my favorite of all time, Smith's Rosebud Salve. It's like basically a gloss lip balm. It's amazing. Oh, this I probably need to throw out. This is the Oh Hi Beauty lip balm, and this is like the peach scent, I believe. This is kind of old as well, and I really don't like the packaging. It's super hard to squeeze out product, like you have to press so hard. These Tula SOS lip balms are new, and I do really, really like them. I don't know where the third one is. I need to find that. GlossierMangoBalm.com, probably one of my favorite scents. Okay, so I think that's it for the lip balms. These are just going to go in my bathroom because I would like to keep my lip balms in the bathroom and just kind of separate them from the rest of my lip products. So now I'm going to go through these and see if there's any lip products that I want to either give to my mom or my sister or I don't know, ones that are expired. I'm just going to go through this one more time and sort it through a little bit, I guess. Right off the bat, I see this. I picked this up for a video and ended up not even using it because of how horrible this looked on me it literally looks so bad this is the essence shine wet look lip gloss but the shade of it is like a gray mauve color and it just looked so bad on me i feel like it looked so bad that i need to swatch it on myself you can already see <laughs> you can already tell what i'm talking about i just think it makes my lips look kind of gray and i'm not a fan of that another one that's gonna have to go is this it's completely rubbed off, whatever the name of this was. Moonchild. <laughs> Moonchild Gloss. This is from ColourPop. And this was like an old Kathleen Lights collection. And I really did love this gloss. It's kind of like, you can't really see, but I used up maybe half of it. It's super old and it's a very pretty nude gloss, but I just don't use it. And the texture is kind of weird and gritty. I don't know if it's like separating or if it's always been like that. That's, I, I really haven't used this in that long that I forget what the formula is like, but it's just like one of the oldest things in my collection at the moment. And so I want to hold on to it, but that's not good. <laughs> like if I don't use it, I should get rid of it. Um, it's this one right here, very pretty. Okay, so this Wander Beauty lip oil, I really do like the formula of this but the color that I have is just not very flattering on me. I think it kind of washes me out a little bit. And also, I don't know what happened, but this came like without the applicator fuzzy part. Like you can see it's kind of on the bottom. 
but the top is just like a flat spatula looking thing so i don't know it doesn't make it like that much harder to apply or anything but i think my mom would really like this so i'm gonna go ahead and give it to her so we basically got it down to like my favorites now i feel like um there are some of these m cosmetics products that i don't use all that much this morning mocha maybe my mom would like i feel like this is definitely more of a color i would like this is in the shade magic hour i also don't use this m cosmetics gloss all that much this is the magic hour gloss let me put it on real quick oh i really like that okay i'm keeping this this is another m cosmetics one in rose nude this is definitely a color i would wear i feel like that's a gorgeous color i kind of forgot that i had this this is really really pretty see this is why we do these things i guess we're going through a whole m cosmetics swatch party right now what else is from m cosmetics I haven't worn this one recently. I feel like this could be good for fall. I don't know. It's just not a color I reach for. That looks really bright orange on my hands, but on the lips, I swear it is a little bit more wearable. Maybe for now, I should put this one in my bag if it's not something that really excites me all that much at the moment. Okay, so I'm keeping Rose Nude, Magic Hour, and then the Magic Hour gloss and then i'm gonna give morning mocha to my mom looking at this excites me it feels so good to just declutter and go through things and really just have your true favorites and colors that just inspire you just out and ready to use like this looking at this just makes me so excited some of you guys might be like sarah this is so many lip products but lip products are the one thing that i feel like i truly collect because they just excite me i love lip products okay so now we just need to figure out how to organize these so and i usually do it by brand but maybe i should do it by color i don't know i feel like that might help me Okay, so here's what's going on. So in here we have kind of like peachy colors. This is like, yeah, literally just like peachy orange. Then in here, these are like reds. So, you know, like my red lips without committing to a red lip. So yeah, just some red lip glosses and stuff. This Glossier Gen G and Zip. Just like my red toned lip products. These are my clear glosses. And then this, I didn't know how to categorize this Clinique Black Honey. Also, my hand is getting so full of swatches. I guess it'll go with like my fall deeper tones over here, but it is a sheer product. So then this one, which I actually had like the most products of, these are like my rosy tones. This is probably my favorite category at the moment. Then these are like nudes, kind of like brownie nudes. These are just some glosses, which honestly could go in here, but um, I'm just gonna leave them out because I do use these quite frequently. Also, this Kosas one kind of fits in there. And then this one, I don't know where to put this. I guess this goes with the rosy products. Then back here, these are like my pinks, my pink pinks. So now I'm gonna put everything back in here, try to get it all organized. Okay, so this looks so much better, kind of. I don't have the best system. Comment down below if you have any idea on how I can organize these a little bit better, but we, I just kind of like tried to keep them in the same area. So rosy, dusty pinks, clear glosses, pinks and some random glosses, oranges and peachy colors, reds, and then these are like browns and... Um, deeper fall shades right here like burgundies and berries so 
there you have it. It does look a lot better in my opinion. And also when I look at this, I'm just way more excited. Like I said, I'm just so excited to use these up, which is exactly what you want from a declutter. You just want to have all your favorites. So now that everything is all organized, I thought it'd be fun to just show you some fall favorites that I've been loving. I'm going to show you like the true lip products I've been wearing this fall. So starting off, we have the Roman Glasting Water Tint in Vintage Ocean. And did I wear this all summer long? Yes. Am I going to keep wearing it into fall and all fall long yes this is just like you guys already know i love this this is like a sheer burgundy and it's like a stain so i just kind of put it on and blend it out with my fingers and it just makes me feel like so put together every single time I don't know what it is about this product, but definitely a fall favorite. In the summer, I had it a little more sheer, but as you can see, I kind of swiped it a few times and built it up. And it's like the perfect fall burgundy shade while still being like really sheer. I just love it so much. Here's a better close up. Next up, we have this Bite Beauty lipstick in the shade Sugar Buns. And this is kind of like a cool toned, dusty rose if that makes sense and i've been loving this so much it's just so pretty recently i've been really gravitating towards this type of shade just like a very pinky shade but there's something about this lipstick that's just really really nice something about this shade in particular i think it's because it's so cool toned um i think it just is really flattering with my skin tone maybe because i think i have like cool undertones but this has just been a fall staple of mine. I've been wearing this so much. My lips are kind of stained, but it's okay. <laughs> Next is the Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. This is a recent discovery of mine and I've just been throwing it on so much. Like it's seriously so nice. It's like the perfect amount of sheer, the perfect amount of color. I did a whole review on this lipstick. If you would like to check it out, I'll put a card at the top of the screen, but it's just so easy to throw on and it just kind of adds something so fall and so like sophisticated to the rest of your makeup look. I feel like it just looks really nice. It kind of looks good with the eye makeup I have. I have this like bronzy kind of fall eye makeup. It's really sheer though, but I don't know. I feel like this lip really complements it nicely. Then we have the one and only Rare Beauty Matte Lip Souffle in Brave. This is just a fall go-to, a very pretty pumpkin orange. It's super comfortable on the lips and I think it's just a really unique color. I've talked about this so many times before, so I'm not going to ramble on about it, but it's just really unique and really pretty. And I don't know, I just don't have any other color like this. It's like a true, pumpkin fall shade and i just think it's so cute i really really love it and i think it looks good with this eye look today also all right you guys i'm gonna end the video right here thank you so much for watching i don't know if you can tell but it's a new day and i already filmed this outro um when i filmed the video but i didn't like it so i'm refilming it but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you did enjoy this declutter comment down below or give this video a like if you want me to do more declutters because I could do like my main makeup collection that could probably use a declutter coming up here soon. But thank you guys again for watching. I really do appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone.